everybody this is soul from everything caprice pvv coming at you and from colorado today we're going to go through my car i'm going to rank down every single mod i've added to this car that's not stock um, that way you can get a feel for what you'd like to add and know what personally i like and enjoy most on a day-to-day -day basis this is my 2011 chevrolet caprice with the 6.0 in it it's a beautiful fun car let's jump right in a sliding leather armrest i do like that it is higher than the stock va armrest which in my opinion it feels good to have this sliding part that's higher just to rest my arm on i added the silver door handles from a pontiac g8 it just pops a little bit more when people are in the car they know immediately where to grab instead of just flat black blending in it's the small minor things but it looks good to me I have the G8 pillars and I think it's good because usually there's a nice hole right there from the spotlight. So just having that covered up looks pretty good. And on the console, we do have the flip cubby. It's a nice touch. It just completes that look right there. Down here, we have the same silver accent gas and brake pedal from the sport model of Pontiac G8. Well, they're under and you do cover them a lot with your feet they still pop out to me and i like them for that plus when you get in you still see them they're still something you see especially when you're driving and the wheel is turned the proper way you still get a glimpse of them and they add to that experience of just driving a nice fun car the holden grill is definitely a personal preference type thing I believe with the Holden badging, this car is a Holden, it's not a Chevy. Sure, it came over as a Chevy, but that's just because police departments don't know what the hell a Holden is. So this is how it car looks. This is what it is. It is a Holden Caprice. It is not a Chevy Caprice in my book. Once again, we have the Holden badging, just to give it that appropriate look, how the car is supposed to look coming from Australia, since I'm trying to go for a... Not a one-to-one -one clone, but as close as possible. Once again, this is a personal preference type thing. So the clear headlights are from Australia. They definitely change the look. The only thing different about it is this corner marker right here is clear instead of amber. But as you see on the car, the black paint, it really just pops that front end out. The lower side accent trim really is just a magnificent touch to the car makes it pop so much more and with that accent trim on there the door handle chrome is much more noticeable as well as the indicators and the repeaters up front i definitely think this is a mod that's worth it especially if you have a car where things blend in such as black or white um, plus it just steps it out from that police package look I mean, no police car has chrome trim on it on the back. And usually I'm a person who hates chrome. I, I like things flat black. I don't like chrome at all. But for some reason on this car, it just pops. The leather interior from a G8 is once again a personal preference thing. I like the leather interior. It feels better. It looks better. I mean, just getting into this car, it doesn't. The LED taillights are from the Holden model as well. They're a lot brighter. They change the look as well. I like them a lot. They also, on the conversion, have two reverse lights instead of one, so people will know you're backing up. The paint mashed indicators on the side, the repeaters, really pop as well. A lot better than that flat black plastic. Plus, they're visible from the back of the car as well as the side, so I'm less worried about someone crashing into me as I'm making a turn. And then we have the Holden badging. Once again, this is all personal preference. However, like I've said two previous times, this car in my heart is a Holden. I like having it look like a Holden. The door handle being painted to match is a huge upgrade from those flat black plastic stock handles that come on the car. The chrome makes it pop more. It gives it a more civilian look. And when you look at it, it just makes the car go, wow. The Rotofab is definitely a must. And the reason I say that is it just gives the car such a beefier sound. And I hear all the people say, oh, well, it pulls in the hot air, blah, blah, blah. Sure, it's a little warmer air, 
but you don't have all the plastic covering your stock intake so it's sucking more air in and having that air getting sucked right into that intake just gives you that little horsepower but definitely sounds so much better the fog lamps really do add an accent to that front end of the car make it look more civilian in general plus they add some light so i do like that the grain spoiler just gives that car a beefy, sporty look. It's definitely up there. It's such an easy, simple mod. Just having that painted match spoiler, which is designed for the car, which gives it that look you're looking for. I think it is a chef's kiss on the car. The leather steering wheel feels better than the plastic steering wheel that they had before. Just when you feel it, it feels premium. It's something that you're gonna be holding every day you drive the car. It has these accent trims where the stock steering wheel doesn't. It just feels way better. It's something you wanna hold on to while you're driving. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like a basic car given to just destroy in police use. It feels like you're driving something with an LS in it that you're proud to show off. And we have the leather shift knob. This one is a red and black one. Of course I had to do the red and black to match my interior color, but it also feels better to grab than the stock shifter they have on the G8 console or shifter. You can get this same shifter. If you don't want to do the console, which I highly suggest against, you could still get this shifter and put it on the stock location because it's the same handle. It feels way better than that plastic handle. I think these are about 80 bucks shipped from Holden Parts USA. Another one of my top mods right here is gonna be the unlocked radio. Now I have the Holden boot logo. Like I said, that's preference. But if you're gonna get a radio, buy the Australian radio. It's well worth the money. It has better output on the sound. Plus you get the nice things with it. Let's take a look for example here. Just much louder. I hate that song. Um, here, let me mute this real quick. Plus with this you get Bluetooth, so you get the media. So you get to store CDs on here, which is great. Um, sorry, wrong button. So look at all these stored CDs you get on the Australian model. So you just pop your CD in there, it burns it, and then you can listen to it whenever you want. You get your Bluetooth, um, which you can pair any device with. It's great for just being hands-free, because who listens to a radio? You get that shit like that music I just played. Then you have your iPod hook in. So I have mine down in my flip cubby, but I can plug in any iPod, maybe old iPod, and I could just leave it in here and it would play the music I had stored on that iPod, which would be awesome. So, great upgrade, well recommended. Oh, also, let's just start this puppy up real quick. And watch this, with an unlocked radio, you get the reverse camera. Why wouldn't you want a backup camera on your car? This right here is numero uno. These cars have no center console and they have a shifter off to the side when you get them. Putting in the full center console changes everything about the car. Just having the shifter alone changes how the car is. Before you have the stock shifter here, and that's nice. It's nice to have the shifter down here on the console area and not a column shifter. But having this exact one with the tap mode is just a big improvement. And I know they do make boxes that you can push the button, but that's a natural trying to drive the car and tap up and down versus just naturally shifting this and going back and forth like God intended it to be. And just look how clean this looks. I mean, it's not a flat plate. I can put cups. It's like an actual car. It's not like a flat plate with a shifter sticking out of it. Or if you set your phone and take a corner too hard, you'll accidentally slide into the abyss that is this crack right here. 